Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And I want to continue with the Botanicum and I'm going to be doing buddy color number two, which is this picture right here. And if you've seen my other video on junk mail stencils and found object stencils, you'll understand why I've done this. Um, I went ahead with the pastels and did the sky. I think I have a little too many clouds. But my other video, if you're going to check it out on my channel, is called um, Junk Mail Stencils and Found Object Stencils for Color Book Pages. So what I want to do now with this picture, this is Buddy Color 2, so if you've got this picture, please color along with me. Get it done by the end of the month and submit it to me for our Pictures Colored by You video. This month, you can send any picture to me that you colored this month. Not something a year or two ago, but this month on any book, I will need the name of the book and the name of the artist. And if you're a subscriber, I will feature you in my video or movie with music and you will be able to share your work with a lot of other people. So I've got two little flowers colored in here because I wasn't sure how to blend with these pan pastels. And that's what I'm using today to do my base coat is our pan pastels. And uh, those are the colors I have. I don't have too many, but um, that's fine because I can like on this one's a fuchsia. So I was taking my sponge and I was putting some fuchsia down and then going into the white to lighten it to a lighter pink. And so that's what I'm going to do. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel, I do do base coats. I've been working in watercolor for a few videos. This one I'm going to paint with the pan pastels you can use any pastels if you don't have pan pastels um, in fact the sky here is not done with pan pastel it's done with mung yo soft pastels so any pastels and you can mix and match you don't have to just use one brand on your picture i mix and match mine all the time let me zoom in for those of you that like to see it a little closer, maybe a little bit more. Okay, let me see if I can get on camera here with the part I'm working on. Okay, and um, I just want to color in as much as I can with the pastels. And then I am going to go back with the pen, colored pencil for detail. So if I want that a little lighter, I think I can add some white. That works out great. I'm still learning. I have this set, but I haven't used them a lot. And I need to start using them more. They're wonderful pastels. They're very creamy and smooth. Um, I don't know what else to say about them. They're great. Okay, I'm going to leave them like that. I've been mixing here on my sponge. Okay, um, like I said, for the newcomers, this is base coat day. So I'm going to be using the pastels for the whole thing, and then, or as much as I can, like some of the small things, I'm going to use just a pencil. Um, and then I go back and I will work with, um, I'll set it with hairspray, that's what I'm trying to say, or I have wig spray that is much finer mist, either one you can use, and set it, and then we'll move on with colored pencil for the details. Now see, I saw right there I missed the sky, but I don't have that color out right now, so I'm going to skip it and I will get that filled in. Okay, so let's work on this, and let me get out some tools to use. 
let me get some tissue to wipe off my tool. I'm going to use this tool. And I want to put some gray on the mouse. And I realize that I don't need to use a lot of this to go a long way, this pan pastel. Um, if you use other pastels, you will use more. But, of course, they're going to last you forever, too. Now, I think he's coming up. Oops, I don't want to get that part in his ear. I'm going to make him a little... Um, lighter, I think, too. So, I hope you're following along in Botanicum. If not, you can color along in any book you have. But Botanicum is a beautiful book, and if you haven't purchased it yet, it might be something you want to put on your list to do. Okay, I'm going to lighten him with some of this white. I don't want that gray that dark. I could have mixed it on my sponge, couldn't I? So I'm going to have to erase part of that ear that needs to be pink. Okay. And then, like I said, all this will be detailed with colored pencil. Not sure which brand of colored pencil I'm going to use yet, but... I haven't set the background. I wanted to be able to wipe off things. And it's okay because it's not all going to come off anyway. Okay. Um, okay. What I want to do now is take my eraser and erase that little part there that needs to be pink. And I will erase that too. I want his eye nice and clear, his nose, and that's about it. And we can always smooth out these pastels at any time we want. Okay, I'm going to change colors now. Now my little sponges are starting to fall apart real quick, so I need to buy some. I have these little tools here from Pan Pastel, and they work really good too. Okay, um, I've got another little tool that'll probably work better than the gray right now, and it's clean. Okay, I wonder what the colorless blender will do on here. Oh, there it goes. I think this is not the white, this is the colorless blender. And I see a difference when I use the colorless blender with these. Okay, well, I messed up his ear again. I got it um, dark here. And his eye. Okay, we want our mouse to look real cute. Okay, I didn't do his hand there. Maybe a tiny bit, and I mean a tiny bit of this goes a long way. There, his hand is done now. Okay. Well, I hope you're working on this picture too, and I hope you send in your pictures to me if you're a subscriber so we can make a really neat video this month. I appreciate it. I want to give you an opportunity to share your work with other people. Okay. Um... Now, I am 100%. Lots of you are really skilled with these pastels, and I'm not. So I don't know whether to wipe that off to use it for the green or what I'm going to do. So we'll do it that way. I've got black on the other side. Okay, let's try. Um, I want to try a green here on these. Wow, that's sort of dark, isn't it? Let me try mixing it here. Or do I want them that dark? There are three-leaf clovers. I probably might like to keep them that dark. This set of pastels, pan pastels that I have are called the basic ones. So they're basic colors. 
Maybe it's better to go lighter and then you can always darken it, huh? Whoops, I got that one, Rissy. I keep thinking they're like the other pastels and they're not. But these are quite dark, if I remember right, these three leaf clovers. So that's okay and we can spread that around a little bit too. Even have enough to go over here. Wow, it really goes a long way, doesn't it? My husband came home very early because it's so hot outside and he was sweating so bad he feels weak. And it's sort of scary when it's this hot. So I wanted him to take it easy. Okay, there we go. That's coming along. I like that. I sort of blend it with a little, blend some of the green with some of the white, and it works good for me. Yep. Because I am going to use pencil to shadow, a shade and shadow, and I don't want it too, too dark because um, I just want the base coat lighter. Um, and I can always, it will always get shaded with, uh, or shadowed with the pencils. I used to color all of my stuff with pencil only, and it took me days and weeks sometimes to finish one picture. And then I thought, let me apply some of the things I learned when I was doing oil painting, and that is to put down your base coat through your whole painting and then go back and just detail it. And so that's what I started doing. And now I use all different types of medium to do that in. I don't just use pencil, and but I do use pencil to do the details. So it's been fun and I've enjoyed it. Okay, let's continue with these clovers down here at the bottom. Yeah, they're three-leaf clovers, so they would be green. Now, I don't want everything green in this picture, so we're going to vary it. Or we're going to use various shades of green, that's for sure. If you have any kind of pastels at all, feel free to follow along. If you don't have pan pa or pastels, not even pan, any pastels, then color with your pencils, whatever you have, or your watercolor. It doesn't really matter. Just get a base coat down. That gets the color in all the little uh, hills and valleys so you don't get white specks when you do use it colored pencil, which I don't like. It's a personal preference, but that's me. Now see, I'm making that a little darker. I better lighten it with some white. Still a little darker than the others, but that's okay. I may make them darker. I think they might need to be. But like I said, we can always go darker. Going lighter is not as easy. Okay. I had a request for this picture, and so that's why I'm doing it out of Botanicum. It's a cute picture. Now there's moss on this tree stump. I will go in here with pencil for the tree stump. Um, those are small areas. Uh, let's finish the last clover here. I have to reach. I don't. I have a desk. I can't get it all on camera, especially when I'm zoomed in. I have a small desk here, so I need to reach off camera to get my dip into my colors. I'm going to have to buy some more sponges and tools for my pan pastels. They get, they get 
worn out pretty quickly. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong and pressing too hard. I don't know. I don't think so, but could be. I've been known to goof up before. Okay. Well, we got to go out to lunch with um, a couple of two couples, and it was very nice. We went to a, a buffet, a hometown buffet type thing, and one of the ladies is a subscriber to this channel, and I want to say hi to her. She knows who she is, and her husband came, and then this other friends we've known for 15 years came. I am going to put a little darker green on that. And we had a great time for about an hour and a half, almost two hours there. It was very nice. We'll have to do it again soon. Okay, I want to get this video uploaded today. I don't know how long it's going to take on YouTube. It's been going pretty slow on their new beta system. So I started uploading on their old system as long as it's available this morning. And two other videos I already posted came out better or quicker. That's what I should say. Not better, quicker. So hopefully this one will too. This one will be the longest of all of them. And, yeah, I made it a little darker after all. Okay, so whatever you mess up with or get over, you can erase it or you can wipe it off. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, let's look for a base coat now for... Oh, wait a minute, I didn't do that one. Okay. I missed one here. Let's see if I have a mossy green color for the moss. I'm not sure. And then I want to make some detail in it with pencil. Sort of like I did on that big lizard that I did from Kirby Rosanna's book, Anamorphia if you have a chance to check out that video on my channel. Okay, now I made that one even darker, didn't I? Well, it's about the same. It looks okay. I'm not going all the way to the edge because we're going to be doing our pencil there. And I don't want to have too much to erase like that. Well, I don't need to worry because it's going to be olive color in the back anyway. And this is a makeup brush from the dollar store that I brush things off with. Okay, so I think we need to have these assigned a certain color. That would be easier for me. I did try washing these sponges and they don't, it, the stain, they stain and they don't come out. But uh, I guess just wiping them off on a tissue is sufficient for cleaning them enough to change colors. That's the what I understood. Okay, let's go. And I want to use, let's see, this color. I wonder what that's going to look like. Oh, that's dark. But it's a mossy color, isn't it? Mm. I can always use a colorless blender, too. Yeah, that smoothed it out also. It doesn't lighten it like the white, but it does make it smoother. Okay. That's a mossy color, olive green sort of color, I guess. Hmm. This doesn't move around this paper. Now, it's just me. I'm not sure. what I'm doing, people. I am more experienced with other types of pastels. So this is a learning curve. 
I can hear some of you yelling at me over the airwaves. Okay, there you go. We can put a little more here. Bring it down where the moss is growing. And I need to put some white in it, I think. That's for sure. I went to bed really early last night. I was just exhausted, tired. Yeah, I think I like the colorless blender on it a little bit better. Okay, a little more here. Well, the, the, the way they work, these pastels, a little bit goes a long way. I'll have these the rest of my life. It'll take that long to use them up, I think. I don't know if you ever use them up, unless you're using them every day. I don't know. They're gorgeous. They're very nice, though. And I want to make this mossy looking, so I want it to look... I'm going to put a little darkness on the edges here, though. Remember, when you have a surface and you want it to look a little rounded, try to get it darker on the edges than the other part of it. And that gives it the illusion that it is not flat. But I'm, blend, I'm getting that, too. Well, that's down in here. It's probably darker, but I'm going to use my pencil on a lot of that. Let's get this edge. I'm just barely tapping this pan pastel and it picks up a lot of color. Wow. Okay. So for those of you that are new and those of you that have joined in this video, maybe late and didn't hear what I said at the beginning, uh, I will repeat that these are base coats. This is not the final coat for this picture. And then we're going to go back with pencil and we're going to really detail it. Okay, there's that mossy color. Now, I don't know, I guess I have to just clean my sponge off this way, like you do the tools. Okay, well that's how I'm going to do it. I'll have to find out, I'll have to watch some more YouTubers' channels and see how their the experienced people are doing it. Okay, now let's use a different green for these leaves. And... Well, that, I've got three greens here. Full, well, one sort of a blue. I don't want to use it. Now, this is pretty light. It almost looks yellow on camera, but it's... What does it say it is? Let me look at the bottom here and see what color that is. Yellow green, it says. Okay, well... I have green on my sponge. Maybe I need a cleaner sponge so that it's I'm not transferring color. Let me wipe this off and use the green that I had. Let's see if my little old t-shirt works cleaning this off. Okay. So, well, yeah, now it's looking a little greener. So I'm going to erase that. I got some other color on it, some red in there, I think, and that changed the color of it. I'm going to erase the whole thing and I'm going to do that leaf again for you. Well, go ahead on your own and do the base coats and then we'll get back in the next video and we will do 
Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. I wonder if I should use some of my other colors from my other pastels. Okay, well, we're going to go with it. I can always darken it. It says yellow-green, so I'm going to have to put more green in it, obviously. No, we'll do that. Let's see what we come up with, won't we? It just, when I'm looking at the monitor here, it looks that like I'm putting yellow, and I'm not. It's, it is a green, but it's more, it's, I'm going to stick more green in it. And I wonder if I mix some of this other green with it. Okay, let's see, which one would I mix with it? Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Don't know. I don't know. Let me try mixing the one we did the shamrocks in or the three leaf clovers. No, oh, I took it off the brush, didn't I? Okay, we can stick a little of that in there too. Blend it around. Now yeah, that way it doesn't look so yellow. But there is some yellow showing through, which leaves have yellow in them. And that's okay. Okay. And we're going to just blend it together. And I'll blend this off camera too more. Now those are green because I still have it on my sponge. Now I wonder if I dip into that. Is it going to show a little differently? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm learning, aren't I? And if I don't like something, I'll erase it. And I'll try again. But I have these pastels and I thought I need to use them. I, they're sitting there and they're beautiful, but I need to use them. Okay, we've got greenish yellow going here now. And it's going to look different to you on the camera than it does to me. So I want to go and do some more of those leaves. I like to put the light one down first. I still have the other darker green on there, don't I? And then put this, let me see, and yeah, there goes the lighter one now. And don't forget, we've got all colors of green in our pencils, so we can really choose something to shade this with. My sponge is falling apart already. Wow, I, I need to buy some tools. I wonder how Q-tips, and I know these are special sponges, but I'm just saying, I wonder how Q-tips and my husband's t-shirt and stuff like that will work on it. Well, I might try it on these leaves just to see what happens. Okay, we're adding that green again. Add some more there. Let the yellow shine through. Okay, wow, this stuff goes a long way. I am just amazed. Okay, so we've got different colors of greens. Um, let me just, for curiosity's sake, uh, this is a piece of my husband's old t-shirt. It's all different, you know, it's gotten gray and everything, but it's soft cotton, and I want to try that. Oh, whoops, I got some eraser crumbs there. You know what? That works pretty good, too. That works. Only my finger is so big, I might get it out of the lines a lot. Let's try a Q-tip. You know, you can use Q-tips, too. Okay, that's what I'm going to do right now. So I can have a different color, a clean one, when I want a clean one, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Wow.
For those of you that don't know how to do the sky, check out my video that I just posted. Junk mail stencils and found object stencils. And I demonstrate how to do it. So, okay, I can use the tools I have with my other pastels also. That's great to know. Okay, oops, let's do this leaf down here. And let me put some green in it. I'm just working with this one palette of colors that I have. I'm sure there's so many other colors. And I want to get that off of the sky there. That um, I just haven't invested in them. They are expensive. I did buy a skin tone set. And I'm not just using it for skin. I can use it for other things also. The colors. Yeah, that looked more yellow, and yet... But you know, this blending isn't bad at all either. I like that too, and it goes pretty fast. If you were going to color, you would be here a long time. Okay, let me get these colored in. Okay, so we got those leaves. We've got the mouse. Um, well, if I can use a Q-tip, I can probably do the a little bit on the wood here, the tree trunk. I think on these, um, I can get my Q-tip in there, but I think when it comes to the point, that's going to get messy. So let me turn this around and get my brownish color. Um, you know, I don't want to use, whoops, I'm sorry for reaching people. I have a very small desk. Okay, um, I don't want to use the brown that's in that basic set, so I am going to put the lid on it, and I am going to open up my skin tone set. That's what I am going to open up. And I'm going to try this color here, which is called Burnt Sienna Shade. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> my voice is getting hoarse. <clears throat> And I'm going to give it a try. I think it's a little heavy. So I'm going to, I don't know how dark that is. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going with the Burnt Sienna shade. And then what I will do is, like I said, go back over with pencil. Not, I'm not covering for the beginners. I'm not covering everything with pencil. I'm only shading and highlighting with white or black. Is that, oh, that's part of the stock. Okay. I don't want to get the green stem colored. So, oh, this is a nice color. And I'm getting it on some of those stems, so I'm going to have to goes all the way down here to the bottom. I'll just do the bigger areas because I have this color in pencils too that I can get in there with. Can't do the small areas, just the bigger ones. You know, a lot of people just use this for a huge background, but you can, well, it's what I'm calling it today, paint with pastel because you can use it pretty much on your whole drawing. Okay, I'm getting it on those greens, but I'll, that's okay, I'll erase it. Okay, the tree trunk goes all the way down here to the bottom. Mm. Now, I erased the blue there. I don't know why. I thought maybe it was the 
the tree trunk looks like it comes to here. Well, maybe it comes to there too. And that, okay, that might be behind it. I'm going to put a little brown there. Not sure. Maybe that part there. No, that's not right either. So <clears throat> we'll take it off. If you make a mistake, the beauty of this is you can take it off. Just erase it. Okay, and we'll stick in what we need to. Sometimes I have to color around something to see exactly what the artist meant because it doesn't look like, uh, I don't know, what I think it should be. Okay, <clears throat> well, I think the rest of this drawing I am going to be doing with pencil. So we got most of it colored in. <clears throat> These tall, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. I am so sorry. <clears throat> I've got most of this colored in um, a base coat and the small skinny grass and the bug and all that can be done with pencil. So I want you to continue this off camera, continue working on it, and our next video, part two, will be shading and what I'm going to do is go off camera in these little bitty spots which are going to take a long time and it would be very boring for you to watch and put in my <clears throat> excuse me I have never had my voice this bad before so I will tone that up I will erase where I need to and I'll get ready for our next uh, part part two where we're going to go in and we're going to shade okay so I'm glad you joined me today and I hope you like this book and I hope you will join the buddy color. So until we meet again, happy coloring.